one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is kind of the corrosion that happens on a uh, step. Uh, God dang it, what are these things called? Uh, man, I'm lost. There's a step to get in your stinking Tahoe. What do you call these things? Running boards, there you go. But it's kind of more of a Nerf bar running board. So I got lost. Now it gets this little bit of corrosion around these areas and it's always like this. And we've sprayed some rust deadener stuff and we've sanded it down as you can tell. And pretty much that's the main thing you want to do to it. Um, and then you've got these parts on them and unless you're going to take them off, they kind of look old and crappy to begin with. Um, a Krylon Fusion for plastic. It's a great way to do this kind of stuff. You're going to want a satin finish and you're going to want to get a couple coats on it. Now I've already done the other side. But I'm not going to do like the cooking show. Don't even worry about what you're getting it on, but spray your whole thing down and kind of get a nice coat. This stuff in the middle is going to be a lot easier. In other words, it won't take as much. The stuff down here, it takes a bit more. And just a quick job that just makes this look amazing. And you can see from here, it's just older, but I get a coat of this on it. Now this is a, a shallow can, if you will. Um, I'm done with it now. And this can has quite a bit more in it and should fix our purpose up here a bit better. But this is neat because you can take it right over these pieces and kind of makes it all blend a bit better. Versus if you weren't going over them, well, obviously it wouldn't blend as good because you have this dusty, dirty looking piece on there. And this is just a quick how-to, quick fix video. And don't be afraid of it. Um, we took some 220 to this and just kind of painting directly over that. Now you could primer it, sand it down again, get it to look really good, get no orange peel whatsoever on it. Um, I'm just kind of going for that satin, satin pretty good almost undercoated look I guess um, but looks good and looks a lot better than the way it is I'm not looking to disguise anything I'm gonna tell them in the video if you see my videos I disclose everything um, I'm not looking to hide anything I'm looking to improve the look and kind of make it last a little bit longer too um, but that's about all I can say about this this side is done and you could do it in flat, you could do it in gloss. Gloss requires a lot more prep, flat requires a lot less. But in the end, that's what you got. It looks a lot better. And if I had had any brains at all, I'd have taken a picture of the rust before. Now, I'll have to pull one out of my video and take a couple minutes extra editing to do that. This side has dried a bit more. But as you can see, that's how it basically looks. And that's that. We're going to have to back that car up for her real quick. Okay, well, I'm actually going to put a little bit more on this right here. And we are done with it. This can is running pretty thin as well. Pretty? One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, beaglespocket.com for miniature beagle puppies. And. That's your quick fix on the Nerf bars. We'll just call them that from now on. Beaglespocket.com for miniature beagle puppies. Cute as can be and lots of them for sale. Beaglespocket.com. GreyCongo.com for my Grey Congo African Grey Congo parrot. I've been trying to get a picture of that dog all day. And finally during this, I get a picture. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching. Hey girls, be nice! Like what? This is how we play when you're not here. Okay, well, thanks for watching. That's the Nerf Bar video!